In this video, I will explain the solar PV system for household application. Uh, so the PV system is nothing but PV system or solar cell which generate electricity directly from the uh, sunlight. So uh, this electricity can be used directly or can be stored in batteries or export to the grid. There are two types of uh, PV system in a domestic building. Uh, the first one is grid connected. Okay. Grid connected or utility interactive system. Second one, standalone or off grid PV system. This is the first one, grid connected system. So, the main component of grid connected systems are PV array, inverter or power conditioner, then a panel, okay, and a, a bi directional uh, network from the distribution panel to electric utility. The main function of PV array is to generate electricity from the solar array. These electricity are in the form of a DC, DC nature. So we should convert it into an AC nature. That's why we are using inverter or power conditioner. So the output from the inverter is in AC form and uh, it supply to the AC loads. AC load means the consumer own load through a distribution panel. Suppose the PV generation, the electricity from the PV array is higher than our own load. So the excess energy or excess power can be exported to the electric utility. Whereas the electric generation from the PV array is less than our own load. The consumer import the, uh, the shortage of shortage power from the utility. To run their own loads. So this is the operation of grid connected system. So the important points of grid connected system, the primary component, the primary component of grid connected system are inverter or power conditioning unit. So we know inverter which converts DC power produced by the PVRA into the AC power with the consistent voltage and power quality. And a bidirectional interface is made between PV system and AC output circuit to export or import the power and the PV system uh, is connected parallel with the utility grid. This, this is the main point when the electrical demand is greater than PV. Electrical demand. Electrical demand means uh, the, the consumer's own demand is greater than PV system output. The excess power required is drawn from the electric utility. Then, so these are the main points in uh, grid connected uh, solar system. The second classification is standalone system. The main component of standalone system is PVRA, charge controller, battery, and inverter. In this system, there is no interconnection between the consumer or PVRA and the uh, utility grid. It is a standalone system. So the main function of PVRA is to generate electricity. Okay, that is in DC nature. And uh, this uh, DC output or DC power, which supplied to the, uh, the consumer's DC load. And the excess power from the PVRA is used to charge the battery. And from the battery, the battery discharges the DC power and it's supplied to the inverter. The inverter which converts the DC power into AC and it's supplied to the AC loads. So that is the standalone system. So uh, this standalone system, the key point of standalone systems are, it is designed to operate independent of electric utility grid because there is no connection between the PV, PV system and the utility grid. And uh, it used to supply both DC and AC loads and it is you, uh, the most suited place is for uh, is this type of system uh, for remote locations where there is no utility supply supply okay and use batteries to store electricity so the cost of the system become more and uh, the battery need to be replaced every five to six year 
the next drawback is uh, that is one drawback the battery cost is the one drawback of uh, uh, standalone pv system and next drawback is wastage of surplus energy suppose uh, the pv generate uh, uh, the pv generate electricity is greater than our own demand we cannot uh, sell or we cannot uh, export the excess power to the utility grid that is the another drawback of uh, this system that's all thank you